Hello everyone and welcome to part uh, 11 on how to create your own Android launcher slash home screen application. So uh, we've got a packed video today so I'm going to have to go a little fast but last time we got it so you can long press um, it will bring up the widget selection and you can choose a widget such as that now we didn't do any positioning so I want to do that a little bit today as well as um, long press for the widget because it's actually a little more complicated than it sounds and then another thing is that the widget actually goes above the app drawer instead of below it so that's what we are going to work on today so the first thing to make it so it goes so that the app drawer is above the widgets and the ho and the home view and everything after you add the host view you can let's see what view we called it we called it sliding drawer so what we can do is simply say sliding drawer dot bring to front that's as simple as that and then also for the sake of this video we are going to do positioning a uh, very simple positioning um, to where you add a widget and it goes one right here one right here and one right here so just three widgets and that's all just so you can get a little bit of an idea of positioning of the widget so the first thing let's make an integer and we can call it num widgets this integer will be used to um, to see how many widgets are currently on the screen so inside of the create widget method which we were in before we can do num widgets plus plus underneath it and that will just add one to the num widgets now before we do add view host view what we need to do is some layout parameters so we can do relative layout dot layout params equals new relative layout dot layout params and we are using we are using relative layout dot layout params because our home view is a relative layout not host view home view so for the width and height let's do and we do relative layout dot layout params we can call it LP I forgot to add the name so for the width let's since we're doing it so it's um, three widgets on the top screen we will just do home view dot get width divided by three and for the height we can actually do the um, home view dot get height divided by three as well that's basically in the top so then um, now we have the width and height but we need to add like the left and right positioning because if we just did it like that it would always be right in the left corner all of them would be so what we need to do is add a margin so that's lp dot left margin equals um, what we actually can do is num widgets times um, home view dot get width divided by three so that would mean that the left margin would be zero if there's no widgets so it would be right here if there's one widget it would be right here if there's two widgets it would be or three widgets it would be right here so then I believe that is it for that except for home view dot add view host view you need to add a comma and type in LP that's for layout params so that way it, 
the layout params will be added whenever you add the host view. So now I'm going to do a little test to show you how that works. Okay, so now when you long press to add a widget and you click on the clock, analog clock, you can see how it went in the top left. Uh, and when you select another one, the center, and another one, the very right. So those are just three positions that it can do. And you, if you want to limit it, limit it to three, you could just do an if statement. If um, num widgets is less than three, then add the widget. But um, the problem with host view, host views, is they're so complicated in Android. At least that is my opinion. I think it is hard to get the how how big the size is supposed to be. And I believe what I did for my launcher, Lucid Launcher, I believe I made it so that it does host view dot get app widget info dot. I believe I use minimum height. Um, I'm sure there's a different way. I'm probably not doing that right. But I am not going to get into that since I provided uh, the main parts. And then another thing I want to work on is the long click on a widget. So let me show you why it's so hard. So do host view dot um, set on long click listener. New on long click listener. <coughs> Change the um, arg0 into v, so you can do v dot set background color. Let's just make it color dot red, just for the sake of this video, so you can see what's happening. And I'll also system dot out dot print line. I will print out long press widget. Now I will run it and show you what is happening. Okay, so I'm adding the widget. I'm adding the clock widget. And on clock. I'm long pressing on the widget. And it's not doing anything. It's not changing color and it's not even printing out long press widget. That's another reason why I think host view is not a good view and it should have been a little bit improved. Now um, what we need to do to get long press to work is we actually need to make a um, custom host view as, as well as a custom host and a long press helper that's what they call it so I will leave all the links for these classes so as you can see it wants a check for long press that's also a class in here but first let me open the host and control F for this check for long press because it's not even imported. Oh, okay. So, the check for long press is inside of this class. Um, it's inside of the launcher app widget host view class. So it's not a separate file. So that makes it a little easier. And the app widget host. So all we need is the app widget host and the custom view. So what I'm going to do to make this easier, click on raw. This will put it in the raw format. You can do Control A, Control C, and let's see what this thing is called. It's called Launcher App Widget Host View. So we can do a new class. You can call it Launcher App Widget Host View, and click Finish. 
and it creates this blank class. Now we can paste it in, fix the package declaration. We do not want that. Then Control Shift O. And this is something that you can do on your own. If um, if the there's an error for the widget, then it will inflate this layout file. You can make your own layout. You can call it whatever you want. Just do r dot layout dot whatever name. Um, but for this video, I'm just going to take it out. And then m parent for some reason m parent I'm not exactly sure where m parent is coming from so I am just going to get uh, get parent get parent so if that's not null so change that to get parent and then we can close out of host view because now we need the um, host so get it in raw format and we can just copy this. It's called Monster App Widget Host. So new class Launcher App Widget Host and finish. And now we just paste and fix package declaration once again I have it up there okay so inside of main activity inside of create widget we have app widget host view instead of app widget host view it's called launcher app widget host view that's the custom one that we made and then for the host we called it it's up here instead of app widget host change it to launcher app widget host and then new launcher app widget host and I believe we will need to add a cast to launch app widget host view I believe that should work because that's what we did inside of here. So let's run this. Let's see if this works. So I'm going to add a widget. I'm going to add the clock widget and on clock. Now when I long press, as you can see, it turned red. So long press is now working. And that will basically be the end of this video. This allows you to do more flexibility with widgets and also um, I may later on do a little bit more maybe towards the end of this series I will actually finish everything up and make it a totally functional launcher um, and then I will post that at the very end at this point you can do whatever you want with the long press if you enjoyed this video I hope that you will check out some of my apps there's Lucid Launcher, and if you are feeling nice, you can get uh, Lucid Launcher Pro, and as well as a few other apps, uh, Lucid Browser, and some of my old games. So, I hope you'll check out some of my apps. Have a great day, and thank you for watching.